Are you working? What kind of work do you do? Welcome to the Philly EDC Holster Clinic, where Kydex craftsmen from across America and beyond are sending in their holsters for us to give them our honest feedback about what could be better, what could be improved, and what they're doing right. What's up folks, and welcome to another episode of the Holster Clinic. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a holster made by Olin Holster uh, by Bruce and Laura Clemens over in Washington State. So um, I wanna address uh, something uh, right off the bat, which is I'm really pleased to see uh, some uh, professional looking packaging coming out it's uh, you know this came to me in a uh, one of these like resealable zip bags and a, a little uh, you know logo uh, sheet with all the options for this holster checked off and I thought that was a great touch you know you know what you're getting and it's all confirmed and everything and it looks pretty uh, professional uh, out of the box I really like this holster I would give it probably like a B plus or even uh, an A minus with a couple little um, tweaks and adjustments. The uh, the finish is uh, relatively consistent. Uh, the uh, definition is very very good. The sight channel has been molded to adequately accept uh, more than just the stock sights. The eyelets are straight and unbroken, um, and uh, the ejection port is properly relieved to reduce snagging. And there's also a little individual uh, uh, logo edition here for uh, Olin, apparently uh, in commemoration of uh, someone who had passed away. Um, other good things. The uh, belt loop, it features a, a uh, pancake wing on the, on the leading edge and an injection molded loop for the uh, rearward edge. And what this does is what we talked about in uh, one of the previous videos is that if the front wing curves more than the back wing, you will actually pull the gun the butt of the gun closer to your body as you uh, tighten up your belt. And this uh, holster uh, does do that. Another thing that I like about this is that it's kind of got that uh, traditional leather pancake kind of uh, aesthetic. Um, I think that's, that's pretty appealing, uh, considering how you know like square and tactical things can uh, tend to look. The retention is absolutely perfect. Uh, it's got a nice smooth draw, and uh, even when it's all tightened up on the belt, but it uh, holds the gun very securely. Uh, so minor issues. Uh, while this uh, loop here is actually beautifully made, the, it's, uh, the routing for the uh, pass-through is really clean, and uh, I can tell that this wasn't an afterthought or um, kind of like, uh, they didn't like phone it in just for the loops or anything. This is like very, very well done. Um, <clears throat> I did find that it was difficult to thread a substantial belt through this. Um, now, I would do uh, two things. First of all, the amount of space uh, between the eyelets and the edge is a little excessive. I would probably trim it down at least to there, which would give me uh, a greater clearance here. And uh, the same thing goes for the uh, rearward loop. Um, I know that some of the injection, in, injection molded loops are made such that they're kind of trapezoidal so that it makes belt feeding easier. Or you can also just use a taller kind of spacer in here and use like a fat rubber grommet and stand this up a little bit higher. You won't get it to pull the, uh, the gun into the body quite as much. However, it will make threading the belt um, a lot easier. And uh, also what you'll notice is that <clears throat> while the uh, edge treatment is uh, very deliberate and clean. It's kind of like a satin or matte uh, finish. I really like the way this opening here um, has been treated. It's very uniform and uh, planned, and uh, it's not like wonky or uneven. It's very, uh, it's very deliberately square here. I like that a lot. Um, what I would do, however, is what you'll see is that the uh, edge treatment in some areas goes from uh, consistent and considered to getting that little gap in there. And what I would do is, after it's all riveted together, I would put this back on the belt sander or spend a little bit more time sanding that so that you, uh, you don't get that sort of like uh, seamlessness to seam appearing uh, finish there. And aside from that, uh, this is something that I would buy. If I saw this at a gun show and I wasn't making holsters, um, I, I would consider this, absolutely. Um, especially considering the price. I think they are, let me check the, the notes that they sent us. Um, yeah, these guys are going for 55 bucks. This is a lot of holster for $55, I gotta tell you. With, with just a couple little tweaks, I think it will be 100% uh, 
good to go. You know, ensure that you're uh, considering a variety of belt widths, that you're taking just, I mean, it's a matter of seconds, literally just seconds added to the time of the holster to uh, make small, really minute um, cosmetic improvements, and then you will be hitting home runs. I get the feeling that if I ordered three, uh, three you know, identical holsters from these guys, they'd all come in this nice. I don't think that this is, you know, uh, a fluke of niceness. I think that they've uh, got a good idea of what they're doing and how they want it to look and how they want it to work, and they are absolutely executing it. So uh, good job to you guys. This is a, an example of the kind of stuff that I like to see uh, coming from this community. And uh, with just very, 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 very minor um, uh, improvements, I think, uh, I, th I think this is gonna be a home run. One, one more uh, issue that I noticed is that the, um, I think this could be the result of a certain amount of uh, warping when the holster gets folded or possibly the result of using a blue gun insofar as a blue gun can be a few fractions of a millimeter smaller, uh, narrower than the actual gun. Getting the gun back into the holster, I run into a little bit of obstruction here. So what I would recommend doing is possibly flaring out this uh, face to get an easier uh, reholster because otherwise you kind of have to like dig the gun into there especially when it's under the additional uh, compression of being on the belt it can be a little bit of a effort to get the gun back in so just really 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 small tweaks are what it's going to take to get this thing a hundred percent so uh, thanks for watching uh, I hope you guys uh, look them up and give them a shot because I think their gear is really squared away especially if they uh, implement these really minor changes that we uh, discuss in this video so uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes